Hey everybody, Michael here with uh, uh, my YouTube name, <laughs> a little bit of Rusty Creations and DIY. So what I've got going on here, I've got going on here, is I'm up on my roof and I just got to thinking when the storm went through that I had a shingle missing or a shingle land in my yard. So I decided I better come up here, since it's been raining pretty good, I better come up here and check out where that shingle came from. So I discovered where my shingle came from and I'm going to repair the patch or I'm going to patch it with a piece of shingle. I have re uh, shingles, a couple bags of shingles in my shed and I'm going to be patching this. So. This is going to be a short little video. Uh, I'm just going to show you how I'm going to patch it. I patched my shed like this. My shingle doesn't completely match um, with the house shingle, but I'd rather have one mismatched shingle than uh, damaged ceiling. So I didn't see any signs of leaking when I was up in the attic, um, but it could start at any time so I'm gonna replace this and I'll show you guys what I got going on and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do and then I'll show you when it's done so here's what I got going on so right here you can see where that is supposed to be and it's not but it was only broke off along this edge so I had to break the seal on these so these two um, and this one and then what I discovered is there's a layer of old shingle underneath that you can see the color difference um, there's a layer of old shingle so I probably that's probably why it didn't leak very quick or leak at all but I gotta take that nail out and then this nail and possibly I can reuse them and then I'll just run uh, some caulk underneath this underneath that um, underneath this and then possibly underneath that just because I had to break the tar on it so I do not have blackjack that would be the preferred caulk but I just have normal caulk that's gonna work for now all-purpose caulk and it's white so I'll probably once I have the caulk that I need this is gonna do me for now so I don't get any leaking going on so yeah that's what I'm gonna do so hope this is a little helpful um, if anybody ever needs to do this it's self-explanatory basically it just takes a uh, little bit of thought common sense and you know it's very simple to do so most people that can climb up on their roof will be able to perform this task so I'm going to get to work before it comes raining. That way I can get some mowing done. But anyways, that's beside the point. So, so there we got the new shingle in. Um, all I got to do is clock. I was able to use those nails. Just clock under here. Uh, make sure I patch up any cracks like right there. I'll probably, I mean that should be okay. But I'll probably put extra clock in that crack right there just so that won't be my next shingle to fly off and I'll have to you know find some of these loose ones and add add a little bit of caulk like here and here and then definitely there and then I'll definitely put a strip of caulk through there and that'll lay flat and the heat will do the rest all right there we got that all caught and you can see I leaked a little bit out but that's okay cuz I can all replace that right there but as long as my shingles hold down I'll make sure, I'll come up here and make sure that it's held down. 
obviously I didn't get it very perfect you can see that but <clears throat> I just wasn't being very watchful on that so it's probably gonna come raining so I probably got this done just in time um, it's nice breezy windy day my hair is a mess and I hope this was helpful um, it's a pretty simple task um, obviously you don't want to use this caulk if you can avoid that caulk use blackjack or uh, some kind of tar is better maybe some driveway caulk even that would work um, something just something that holds your shingles down and is sticky so I'm guessing I'll probably have to come up here and and pull that pull those up a little bit and put some uh, blackjack up under there better but this is a temporary fix and it'll hold for now so short video um, thanks for watching never mind that this is a short video we're not going to do any of that peace out